Oculus Rift Touch. The product development. We can see many developments of Oculus Rift into the virtual, multi-sensory virtual reality and artificial intelligence using the superpixel which I've introduced in my unified field theory and to see, develop these ideas you should see my autonomous system video and my few artificial intelligence control system videos which go into the more of the detail but I want to give you the basic idea you can all imagine the Oculus Rift touch a touch screen that you wear you know it's a latex suit with nano you know, hydraulics you know heat controlled but it's the basic idea of integrating the systems to make a multi-sensory virtual reality on the Oculus Rift the Oculus Rift Touch is just the gimmick the touch screen that we wear that gives us that sense of touch and pressure right so the basic idea is the super pixel and the super pixel is an oops object you know it's object oriented programming object and the super pixel combines the video the audio and the pressure signals so we can have a 3d video signal we can have a 3d audio signal with the bullet flying past our ear and we can have a pressure signal and those pressure signals all of those can be localized to a point and that combination of those three signals is a super pixel and that is an oops object and it's got 64 properties 64 properties 64 mechanisms reciprocal mechanisms servo mechanisms so for example you know we'll see a surface and then identify it as an object and an object is a pressure map as I say you should look back at my artificial intelligence control system videos So we have the video signal and the video signal we must be able to identify movement and faces surfaces but as a child it's movements and faces but as an adult it's movement and faces and surfaces we can recognize surfaces and then we need to realize what object that is and then in actual reality we imagine the reality into our mind map so this is our we've got to construct a multi-sensory reality or virtual reality so the audio signal so let me say the video signal is the level of quantum mechanics that's the level of our attention our constantly moving flickering attention watching movement and faces the audio signal is about space-time this is something we don't realize but we identify we identify spaces by the sound by echolocation by the echo the resonance the standing waves we build architecture to accord with that and so we we identify space with that echo and then we identify actually name and recognize the space by its smell because obviously different rooms of the same size might be different places you know the bathroom or, or a small kitchen or a workshop and so there'll be different smells so it's the smell that's identified so smell is a derivative sense to identify the space now time 
is actual sound. Sound is those oscillations. Time, time is sound, or sound is time. Sound really gives us our idea of time. time. This is the sphere of relativity, remember. Audio, the space, time, the relativity. And sound has got to be at a certain place at a certain time. You know, the bullet was in pasture here. And that with the virtual reality, we can recreate that. And then, as I say, we've got a continuous video signal that we've got to identify movement and faces. We've got a continuous audio signal. And, and then we've got a continuous pressure signal, which in an organism, organism is its um, surface tension. But it's a pressure signal in the sense of touch. And that gives us the position, a fixed pressure map is an object. And we, that becomes into a certain position. And then, you know, in reality, what we do is we taste things. So they've got a certain taste. In, reali in reality, in, a, in the real world, we would know its chemical composition. We would know what an object is and what it's made of. Now, the 64 properties, are there interrelationships with the, between these? As I go into great detail in the steps of entoptic hopscotch, the different meanings, and obviously they will need to be worked upon. We get the basic idea of the superpixel as an OOPS object that combines the video, the audio, and the pressure signals. And the video gives us the movement in the faces. The, mo the movement makes us be able to predict the courses of action, which we call our conscience. And the faces it makes us be able to judge you know, its value, or whether someone's happy, or sad, or a danger, or a threat, or loving and giving. We can judge the faces. And we can hear the sound of the voice. We can judge the sound of the voice. So we can we can hear whether there's resonance, you know, dissonance, friction, whether we want to get on or whether the situation is compatible or whether the machine's working fluidly. You see how the ideas are fluid. Then we come to the pressure, which gives us the touch. As I say, the first thing, you know, is tracking, you know, tracking the gaze, tracking the gaze, or, you know, the, 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 you know, the movement of the eye, the focus. Now, once this is done, then we can, you see, if we can use Oculus Rift to train people in situations, then we can train a robot Use you know with the structure of, of, of the Oculus Rift. You see what I mean? Our, our experience can be put into the machines. It's not I'm not talking about a spiritual transfer, transference. I'm talking about functioning, functioning, and then we can get high level functioning. Because these 64 properties are the comparisons of different you know the in, in senses and their interrelationships, and they can be developed into advanced you know scientific senses and their interrelationships. And this is what we're talking about with genuine artificial superintelligence. As I say, based upon the superpixel for multisensory virtual reality, the superpixel combines the video, audio, and pressure signals at that point. And this is how we have the Oculus Rift touch.